like she's got to run through one. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got another truckload, baby. Here we go. The ultra rare feed train fish we've never stocked before. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Before we jump in, I gotta let you know that BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. Regardless if you've got a clinical mental health issue like depression, or if you're just going through a little bit of a rough patch, therapy can give you tools to approach your life in a completely different way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible, because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options that are available in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes it easier to find a therapist because it's online, it's remote, and just by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's super easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. All you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash flair or click the link in my description down below. Clicking that link not only supports the channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. And if you don't really fit with your first therapist, there's nothing to worry about. You can easily switch therapists without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy through BetterHelp. Click the link down in the description down below, or just go to betterhelp.com slash flair. Huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. <laughs> we got another truckload, baby. Here we go. Bringing in this time ultra rare banjo. You've never, have you ever you caught one of these fish in your life? I don't think so. Not, I've only caught a few, okay? And we're going to be stocking it in the hatchery today. And what I've heard from Beamer is that they're feed trained, okay? Anything feed trained, I'm like, I'll take it. I don't care what it is, I'll take it. Because we've got this little deal here. And, uh, well, we're, we're, look, hang on. We got a little watering hole strat. Really? Yeah, they're horny about it. Redneck you, yeah, so you imagine just, oh, right at the house? Yeah. You'll six five, wham! Just straight fall right Shoot in the Shoot a bottom. hole through your liner? Yeah, we don't want to aim high. All right, so the delivery's finally here. Been waiting. And like I said, it's an ultra rare fish that we've never stocked before. Think about all the stocking videos we've ever done in on the career here on YouTube. We've never stocked this fish. I've actually never caught one of these fish in open water. Only ice fishing. Oh. Has any guesses? Uh, go ahead, comment. Only ice fishing, feed train, never stocked i'll wait there's 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 probably not that many options out there we've talked about every single species you could possibly think of all i know except is this one they are tasty they are once they get big enough which the beauty of this is their feed train so we should be able to get them really big really fast and it's going to be up to us what did you say you see the feather turkey is that a turkey that kind of does look like a little turkey feather yeah like i said i'm excited we haven't we haven't seen them yet i don't know how big they are but i heard their feed train and we've never had them before and when i get the opportunity to stock a fish i've never had before that tastes great and will grow quickly i take beamer up on it and so we're going to put them in here here and basically we got to bring a feeder down at some point and get the feed you know going out there we got to go find which feed they they like because i think they need a little smaller feed than what we probably have and then bring the feeder and see maybe after a day or two if we can get them to actually feed if that if that makes sense so should we go should, can we come up there and see what's going on all right boys moment of truth the ultra rare feed train fish we've never stocked before here it is We got freaking perch, folks. Look at those oh, suckers. Yeah. Banjo, look at that. Can we eat it? That's a catch and cook in the making yeah. right there, buddy. Oh, look yeah. out. Hey, you, throw hang on. Throw him in there. Throw him in. That sucker. You want to go in there? Throw him in. Hey, there you go. Oh, Rick. Rick. Really? No, Rick. Rick. Oh, come here, buddy. There you go. So we got perch, and they are those would have hatched this year, I assume, right? That's yep. yeah. So this year, how many? Uh, there's 550 in here. Wow, we got a lot of feed to buy. Sheesh. We're gonna do some catch and cook. So in a year, how big do you think you could grow them if they're on full feed all the time? Full feed in a whole year, we grow some up to about. Uh, six to eight inches. Okay. Pretty, pretty much most of them are going to be eight inches. Eight, eight inches. Is, so from for now, from here to fall. Yeah, next you, year. You could get them to, I would say, not eight, eight to ten. So what What's an eater size? Do you think? Can you eat an eight? You, get a, you can get a fillet off of eight. Can you? Can so yeah. next? I my here's what I'm saying. Next ice fishing season. Yeah. So we feed them all winter and then all spring and then all summer and then all fall. And then next, not this ice, next ice fishing season, this is going to be the catch and cook pond. Right here, baby. I'm We're going to be getting all the fillets out of there. Man. Yeah, I think it's going to be, I think it'll That's be pretty sweet. That's a lot of fillets. That's a lot. Yeah. 500. Hard think about the trout, all the trout we caught, we only put 100 in there. Yeah. We only caught like 20. That's a thousand fillets. 
Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be eating good. Ben, he is hungry. So we got the pipe hooked up here, and it's gonna dump dump them out. And how big of uh, you don't have any of the, the feed, do you? How big of the feed? It's probably pretty small, isn't it? Yeah, the, the feed's pretty small. Is it? Oh, yeah, he said like two mil feeds probably what would be two, best. Two mil. Okay, well um, we'll have to go find that. Kind of work up from there. Got it. Probably as as they get a little bigger. Two feed, and then uh, two mil, and as they eat that, then. Start getting bigger uh, and bigger. Start getting bigger. Really? Right? Go that. Yeah. So we'll have to go, we'll have to go find some feed because yeah, the feed I've got is for catfish. That isn't quite gonna work because these suckers are like, yay big. But this is a future. Yeah, I think that'll the, it'll, the it'll propulsion float. will Stick do. Your it's mouth good. on and see what happens. Really? Really? We're good. Let her rip. Ready? Yeah, let's dump some catch and cook fish in the pond, baby. Sheesh! Fill them. You should have filled the pond up like this. This is yeah. way faster. Yeah, no there they are. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I'm counting them. I think I think they might have shorted us. I better call call corporate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I got him. There he is. Hey, how you doing? He's a little guy. They are little suckers. Just a baby. Well, they're gonna be cool one day. Or your alternative is if they don't get big enough fast enough, just throw some bass in there. My idea. Let's hear we it. put like 20. Decent sized catfish in there. Oh, let them clean them up over the nah, I want to eat them. I said we, I I said we chuck some blues in there and see yeah. how quickly they. Yeah, Did they would wipe them out pretty quick. Yeah, one flathead would get in here. Oh yeah, it would be a bad deal. Yeah, that would be that would not be good. I mean, I only see a few that are just kind of kicking a little bit. Most of them. Hey, better ratio than when we stocked minnows. I'll tell you that much. Because yeah. when we stocked our own minnows, they did not do that. There's only like one or two that are kind of sitting here thinking about it. The rest of them are gonna do their thing. So getting them all stuck. Oh, we got more. Uh, yeah. Shit. Hey, this guy ain't bad. What you got going on here, pal? Come here, pal. Look at that. You eat him? Oh god, yeah. There he goes. Yeah, perch. So you might be thinking, well, Flair, what's the point of doing We're not going to probably put them in the actual lake. Like, this is just for going to be for fun. It's going to be a, a, a way that we can have some eater fish, you know, next year, hopefully. Obviously, they're feed trained, so the content will be really cool. We can measure them and see how quickly they grow. But we don't want them in that lake, at least right away. Once everything's established and all of our bass are four pounds, go for it. Because then the bass will probably just eat them, and it's, it's kind of is what it is. But I don't know how if they'll make it that long. It would be cool to catch perch in there but perch in my opinion are equal to a crappie and when you're talking about raising bass crappie is the enemy okay you don't want any crappie in your pond if you're trying to catch big bass uh, or grow big bass I should say what's going on there hey, look out put him in yeah that, he, we don't have a bass. is this frankie he looks like really? a frankie really? yeah there you go frank get it frank he wasn't about it get well, out frank, frank. Can't get out frank get, get out get frank. yeah help frank help frank get, get frank come on frank. frank come on get out frank there you go need a little help Frank, you're not very uh, self-sufficient here. Okay, anyways, well, perch are in. Like I said, we're gonna give them a little bit of time to kind of get acclimated, okay, and get situated. Once they calm down, we're gonna go find some feed, bring down the feeder, set up the feeders, and see if we can get them to wham. Have you have you seen them feed? I mean, is it like little piranhas or, or what's it um, look like? Yeah, the longer, it'll take them probably a week or two. Oh, a week, they oh. Like crazy, oh, okay, crazy. good, I was good now. And the longer you feed them, the better it'll be gotcha there we have a couple ponds that we've been feeding for like a month and it's like it is like piranhas, piranhas. Throw feet out and it's like, yeah, yeah, that's, see, that's what i'm saying i yeah. like myself some nice piranhas plus once they get big like i said catch clean cook so we got some rare fish in i can't we've never stocked them before of all things we've never stocked them never owned them i've never even caught them out of freshwater only a couple times ice fishing have we ever caught or i was about to say trout perch are they, they're yellow perch right technically yep, yellow, Te yeah, yellow perch in case you guys are just trying to be you know scientific and whatnot so yellow perch are in fact in the hatchery I I know it looks like a bag of wieners, okay? We're getting filters built. Okay, Trapper Jay's helping us get some filters. It'll, it'll look cleaned up. Now that we've got some predator fish in here, it'll all come to fruition here shortly. So, with that being said, let's go find some feet. Oh, yeah. Shoo! Alrighty, folks, it's the next day. Well, actually, it's been three days, not the next day. But we spent the last three days letting the fish get acclimated, plus getting supplies to clean this thing up. And over the last three days, now, the pond kind of looks like a bag of wieners, okay? It's got this little filthy scum. What? Get back in the mule, Lucy. What are you doing back there? What were you doing in there, Banjo? Getting unstuck. Really? Yeah. Lucy, do you want out? Do you want to let that yellow dog out before she loses her mind? We found some dog. food, okay? This is some of the food we use for the minnows, okay? Now, Lucy, no, 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 no. Do not. No. no. We no, no no we don't need you going in because then you're gonna claw your way out. Lucy! No, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no you're gonna go back in the mule right now. Do you need to get in the mule? Lucy, if you pop this liner. If you pop this line, do you need to get in the mule? I don't trust you. Come here, Lucy, get in the mule. Go sit in there. 
Okay, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay, so uh, what I was saying is for the last few days, we we wanted the fish to get acclimated. They're not going to eat for the first few days anyways. And even the guys at BMR said it might be a couple weeks. But we did get some little minnow food to try and feed them and get them fired up. But more importantly, all you guys were hating saying, no, you have to filter this thing. So uh, we, Trapper Jay came and helped me build a filter. This is a DIY PVC depth tank hose filter mechanism. We got Big Junior on sand duty. He's gonna go grab some sand and come back with some sand. And we're gonna make a DIY huge pond filter. So we've got some extra pipage here and some pumps and whatnot kind of doing its thing. Right here. Huh? That's a water, fo water fountain, waterfall, water is it, fountain. Is it like LED lighted, like different colors? There are lights, yes. So I don't know if we're gonna do that today. We can get it out and see, but that's to help with some aeration. A lot of you guys were saying that, Flay, you have to cycle the water. Listen, Rick, we're trying, we're getting to that point, okay? We got a little carried away and we threw some fish. Son of a gun. What in the Sam hell are you doing here, Jimmy? We gotta be careful. But for three days, of we didn't pump it, we didn't aerate it, we didn't feed them. What's going on there? Really? There's hardly any dead fish. I think I see like two, two little minnows. Maybe one perch or two perch, but not bad. You little haters, you guys are always, yeah, you know what you're doing. Listen, I, you're right, I don't. But hey, I'm gonna do my damn best, okay? And now, since the water's in, the fish are in, now it's time to filter it, which I know is completely, why, how'd that dog just get it? What the, hey, hey, do not go in the water. So, I'd say go, well, we can't let her see you throw. Yeah, hold on to the dog. Lucy, make no. Her, make her face Sit. that way. Yeah, she, we don't Sit. want her to see it. Come here, Lucy. Come here. Yeah, yeah, cover her eyes. Cover her eyes. All right, give her hell. Okay, that's that's perfect. Do not. No, Lucy. Is this what you want? Lucy, you're not allowed down here if you're going to sit here and put holes in the tarp with the paws. Is this what you want? No, Lucy, you don't need that. All right, so the fish food is out. Do not go in there, Lucy. How many times can I say it? Now we wait. But why we wait? Stop eating the fish food. Hey. Hey. Gross. Do we need to take you back home? What's your problem? So, as you can see, we got all the pellets out there just sitting there. No, no one's biting it yet. No one's getting too excited, but we're gonna keep an eye on them while we get this filter basically built and situated. We'll kind of give you guys a little, I mean, like I said, it's already built, so take a screenshot if you wanna try to build it. There's just a bunch of things on it and some holes and some glue, and that's about it. Gotta put her in place. So we're gonna try to put her in place. Yeah, I'd say oh, probably there. like right in the middle, don't you think? Right in the dead center, you like yep, that? Yep. And then we put the feeder maybe next to it, maybe, yep. I'm thinking. There it is, you got it. That'll do, yep. Right there? Yep, we've got a pump that will be in there, hooked up to the generator, because we still don't have power, and it's gonna pump the water in, through this black hose, in, down, into the PVC with a bunch of holes in it, and this thing will be filled with sand, and the water will come up filtered, and then dump back out into there. Big Junior's getting a couple ton worth of sand. If we have any extra sand, we can just chuck it in the bottom of this, it'll help clean it out. There they are, oh, piranhas, huh? But they're eating it, more or less they're eating it, and it's only been a few days. He did say two weeks, all right, I'm not talking any crap. He said two weeks, we're gonna give him a full two weeks, but we do need to get this thing filtered. This is looking like a bag of wieners, so let's get the sucker built. It's a lot of pipe for you, you know? Yeah. You need, you need help with your, you need assistance with your pipe? Oh. He handled the pipe well, actually, yeah. So that's the spa hose, okay? Straight from Amazon. You got it's it. It's going to go right there. We might cut that, but this will go on here, and then the other side will hook up to the actual death tank itself. You got some big clamps? Yep. Sheesh! Stick it on there like that. Put it right there. Get your impact. Tighten it up. That'll be one side. We'll do the same thing. With the other. This thing has to go in the water, plugged in to the generator, and that should pump water, hopefully, in the death tank. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> On it? Yeah, I need to. Really? <laughs> really? I already said that. There, there we go. you go. You're getting it. Keep going. Yeah, keep wiggling it. There it is. Where's your pipe? Not really? About that much. You ain't, need that you, ain't need, him. you ain't need that purple stuff. There you go. That's the. You can always put a little Jimmy on. Yeah. Like Cut a, another little Jimmy. You piece. want a little Jimmy? Grab that Jimmy piece. Here you go. He's got a Jimmy. Let me see a little Jim. Oh, yeah. There's Jimmy. <sighs> That'll work. I think that would do it. Yeah. All right. So now, Beja, how'd your hose thing go? Yeah. Did you spit on it? Yeah. Oh, ready to go. You want to grab that extension cord and we'll see. Yeah. It's not gonna go super deep. It didn't have to though. It's got to go just enough for the electrical to do its thing. All right. So tie this guy up. The old electrical 
Palomar knot always does pretty good. <laughs> Palomar. So now, no matter what, no matter where the pump goes, you know what I mean? So that just needs to stay there, and then that guy can run all the way to the generator. You need to cut this guy. Yeah. You got too much pipe is what you're telling me. Yep, too long a pipe. Me and John need you to spit on it. Clamp the heck out of it. Just send it? Yeah. Why is it shooting like an AR-15? <laughs> Plug her in. Let's see if we get some flowage. That's the one about from the Home Depot auction, <laughs> so. Did you choke her down? Yeah, yeah, you choked her. No choke kind of guy. All right. Oh, yeah. Is she blowing? Like billowing. Uh-oh, is the thing, hang on, look out. What? I, I didn't close the valve. Oh, close the valve. All right. The valve's, the valve's been closed now. So we better turn it off and fill it with sand, huh? Yeah, we probably should, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, it's pumping, it's sucking. We just gotta get, that thing sounds like it's about to explode. Well, it totally, I mean, the water came in. You know what I just thought of too? I'm pretty sure Trapper J told me when you first do it, it's gonna be dirty and not to pump it in your pond. So there's a chance we gotta get little Jimmy elbowed the other way and just Where see. It's not gonna run back uphill though. We just gotta get something to go that way. Otherwise he said you're gonna fill it with dirty water. I just now thought about that. But won't it just filter the dirty water back out? Yeah. Oh, eventually. Isn't that, the point of the filter? That, that is kind of the point of the filter. Now that I think <laughs> about it. With sand. I mean, well, let's just see how dirty the sand. Do you get okay. clean sand? Yeah, it's clean sand. Okay, all right, we'll be fine. Can you wanna grab that? Should I try to scoop it in that up or no? Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. We got some sand. Pour it a little bit. Why you got that wet sand? Because it rained. <laughs> because why'd you get wet sand? <laughs> it was raining. A lot of you guys might be wondering why you just dump it. And then you want to get this show. <laughs> you gotta do two tons of this? Mm-hmm. I got that dry sand. This would be a lot easier, Big Junior. It was dry when I got it. I should have took a sick day. How's this going? <laughs> Not great. I almost took a sick day today. You should have. You definitely should have. We get those? <laughs> no. Oh, that's way more than I expected. It's you only like, need, you only need like more of those. Probably right? like two more. We, two, we got, two more. We can't put it above this. Yeah, yeah no. One two more. more centered ones. If we just center it, and I just dump yeah. it. Two more. Yeah. yeah. I'd be a little Yeah, just tear it. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't sitting in the AC. The AC was on, I'll be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was nice in there. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, it was good. What do you think? Do you, right, do you like this? Load. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it's going to work. Should we give it a, we we a pack it? Should we give it a center load? Pack it. Start packing it in. Did you bring the jumping jack or no? Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. You're the jumping jack. Get in. Start packing bait in there. We said jumping jack. Okay. All right, let's center load it. I think we put it in the center. I think we'll be all right. I also think there's going to be a lot of extra sand. I don't know what else that means. Just there's just going to be a lot of extra sand. Yeah. It's raining again. In case okay, you're there we go. Center loads only, boys. Yeah, let's try it. Out. Well, yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. Everybody sit in the AC. Listen, hey, I'm a big business guy. <laughs> Big talk. Hey, I got half price fish food. All right. Come forward. There you go. Give it a good shake. There you go. What are we doing with the rest of the sand? <laughs> Anyone else got any ideas? I think you need Should to we make help. a nice beach? Yeah. We could make a beach. Working harder, not smarter. Yeah. That's what it is. That dry moves a lot easier. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was dry. Look out. You think we're good? What do you think? I don't know how close you want to get. I don't know either. I have a feeling that no matter how close we get in like a week or two, we can we're going to have more. to add more because it's going to Because it'll settle. So we can just leave the rest of the sand in like a little, just an easy deposit area and then yeah. we can always just grab from it if we need to. I mean, it looks yeah, I that's about as high looks as you want it though. Looks sweet. Turn her on and yeah. see, see how yeah. long it takes for the water to fill up. Yeah. Might take a second. Start jerking it. Really. That's fine sand, boys. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be, that's best filtration the money can buy. You know what I mean? These fish are going ape Look at it. 
Yeah. The minnows. The minnows and the per the perch, as you saw, they're not that big, so it's like they kind of look the same. Who knows? Is it filling with water? It's a big old crack. It's kind of like it's about to peel over. Is it crack? Is that doing that? Yeah. It, wasn't that like Pangea or something? Yeah. When everything was together. <laughs> that's that Pangea. That's, this is a live action of what happened to Pangea. I want to see how crystal clear this water is going to be. It's going to be dirty because the sand's dirty until the sand cleans Did up. Did you clean sand? Dirty and wet. She's got to run through one. Oh! Oh! Like Big Junior. Wow. Good, good lord. Shout out Trapper Jay. He came and helped me build this uh, last Saturday. And then what this thing's for, you can either put a little uh, chuck attachment here where you can undo it. And basically, if you put air in there, it'll basically, like, it'll get all the sand out of the PVC when it gets clogged. So that's all this is for. It's just basically clean it out. Yeah, there's probably more sand in it. Feel it. It's settling. It did sound pretty good. Well, if you put your hand on there, you can reach all the way as oh, far yeah. as you want to go. Yeah. You want know, to try doing one, one more load while it kind of does its thing? Yeah. See what happens. All right. One more load. you don't need that purple stuff look at it look at our little guy go see that aerator too it'll always do that too that'll be so we got a fountain too an aerator okay yeah, yeah that's about it yep Whoa. oh god that big fountain like baby big old fountain baby look at that son of a gun it's got lights i told you thought i was joking yeah at night we're gonna be down here really i don't know what else we're gonna be doing Really? Maybe it'll keep yeah. the coons away. Oh, it might. Here, here, or they have might. a rave. It might attract them. Oh, you yeah, think so? Which shower head do you want? To. Is there two of them? I got two I of think them. that one on your left hand looks like it'll go higher. This guy? Yeah. Yeah, this is more like... There, you uh -huh. hold it. I'm going to start yeah, walking yeah, yeah, this yeah, out. Yeah. So there's your pump. Shower head. Shower head. Oh, you, you need that extendo head. pipe. Yep. This guy? Yep. Okay. So plugged in. Would we be smart to tie two ropes to it? Probably, so yeah. So once it's out there, we can kind of center it up. Got that knife. This thing is freaking sick. That's a unit. Twisty. This thing gets after it. Yeah. All right. All right. Somebody take that so one. So take that and walk it that way. Oh, God. Does it look centered, Bamba? Yeah. Yep. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, God, yeah. This thing is sick. Damn, that's some aeration, baby. Look how clean this has got. Sheesh. This is a pond now, baby. That is awesome. I mean, come that's on now. Old. I feel like that's pretty slick. That's some good aeration right there. We got it filtered, aerated. Are you guys flee? You just gonna kill them all? I don't wanna hear it. I, I, there's a chance I might still, but I'm I'm doing things. We're getting some aeration going. We're getting some filtration going. We've, we've treated the water for the chlorine and really our well water out here is pretty good. There's not a whole lot to it, so. We're gonna keep an eye on the fish. We saw them eat, they didn't eat all of it though. And sometimes if you leave extra feed, that can kind of turn into gross like ammonia type stuff, so you don't want that. We need beneficial bacteria. Yep. All you guys were saying, beneficial bacteria. So we gotta run to the store and see if they got that. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We did stock some exotic fish to me, never stocked them before. Some yellow perch that hopefully next ice fishing season will be catch, clean, cooked. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and 